Well, there are quite a few videos making uh, DROs for small benchtop lays. Uh, most of them use 6-inch uh, calipers, digital electronic calipers, cutting off the horns, drilling a hole, and then bolting it to either the tailstock or the uh, left side of the, uh, the cross slide. They, uh, those mounts are somewhat permanent, they're difficult to uh, remove, and uh, if it's put on the left side here, you're likely to get chips and oil and grease. And I wanted one that was uh, removable and easy to use, and I don't use it all the time. And what I've come up with is using a small digital uh, tire depth gauge. These are sold on eBay for four or five bucks. And they have the same electronics as the uh, calipers. The range is a bit smaller, but for my purposes, they work out all right. Uh, what I've done is simply uh, made a couple of aluminum brackets that uh, encapsulate the stem of the cross slide with a little table. And then there's another bracket in the back with a rare earth magnet. It goes underneath the compound and it's attached with a screw hole that was used for a little plastic protractor that I never used. The uh, tire depth gauge is uh, very small. I attach it with uh, double stick tape and at the end there's a, a little another rare earth magnet that's uh, attached with a drywall anchor screw. And to use it it's simply a matter of putting it onto the table, attaching it to the rare earth magnet in the back, pressing it down, turning it on and going, and you can simply turn it off and pull it off if you want. So to uh, insert it, I simply put it onto the uh, magnet in the back, press it down with the double stick tape, double, turn it on, and it is in millimeters or inches, and it can be zeroed. Um, also, I can, because uh, the range is a bit smaller, I can place further in if I want and zero it and go. And the big advantage is you simply uh, remove the double stick tape, remove the magnet, <clears throat> and you're not uh, subject to grease and oil on the, uh, the unit. When I uh, put it down, I also put it on another piece of uh, backing paper so the double stick doesn't get ruined and last longer. The uh, digital tire depth gauges are sold on eBay. They come with these plastic horns. I uh, simply remove that and attach the rare earth magnet with a little drywall anchor screw that I cut in half and then reamed out for the four millimeters for the probe. The uh, rare earth magnets are from uh, Harbor Freight. I think it's three bucks for ten of them. And the double stick tape again is Harbor Freight's uh, special. What I did to uh, at first was I made a prototype, a model out of uh, a pattern out of wood. It worked well. I just didn't want to have the wood left there. The bracket, the second bracket in the back, again is simply two inch um, aluminum angle, a hole drilled in the front to catch that screw from the protector that I don't use, and I, in this one I put a little tab on the back to hold the rare earth magnet in the right position so I could model for the second one. I did try a uh, unit in uh, half inch aluminum to start with, but it was overkill and I had put the cap screws on the top and I had a bozo I don't have a mill. This uh, variant here is uh, painted, uh, primed and painted. It um, has cap screws that come up from the bottom so they're not visible and the table is made out of eighth inch uh, aluminum. I uh, used uh, what's called a luma welding to attach the little uh, table to the uh, right side of the uh, stem collar and the uh, again the rare earth magnets in the back and it uh, works quite well, and the thing is, with the DRL not installed, it's not a mess. It's uh, easy to keep clean, and it's not in the way. I uh, hope to do something again with the tailstock, but I'll have to work on that for next week.